Hello and welcome back everyone. And Wolf here with even more Star Wars The Old Republic. Playing as Curse the Sith Warrior here on the world of Quesh. Where we last left off, we dealt with a Republic mining operation here in what I would like to call Imperial Territory. And we're now on our way to deal with an adrenal factory. And we've chosen to deal with the Selkaf scientists who are manning the various stations and processing the venom into various adrenals and stimulants. We might pick up a side mission or two at the Imperial Base of Operations, the outpost just ahead of us here. Hello. Well, that wasn't very nice. Oh, so we're stuck. That's not so good. So... Might as well speak to both uh, the captain and sergeant here and see what the situation is before we decide if we're going to be taking any of these missions. Finding Quesh to your liking. It's an acquired locale. My lord, may I suggest sampling what luxuries this planet has to offer while you're here? My sole luxury here will be grinding the Republic under my heel. Excellent, my lord. I know just the place where you can do just that. You've heard of the three families? The rebellious huts who've chosen to ally with the Republic. That is my understanding. We intercepted a communication from the three families, indicating that they've moved an experimental formula to Attis Station for final testing. Industry rumors about the formula's effects are nothing short of miraculous. Heightened awareness, near immunity to fatigue or exertion, mild euphoria. It's perfect. I want to acquire some samples for synthesis. To distribute it among our troops. After I've tested its safety, of course. These delusions of grandeur pale before the power of the Force. Of course, my lord, but it would bestow impressive benefits to those of us who lack your natural ability. I don't see us capturing the formula through conventional assault. The army would be most appreciative if you acquired this formula for us. You'll find at his station nearby. It's a Republic research facility disguised as a simple outpost, so it'll be better protected than it appears. Hmm. I wonder how the captain got himself assigned here. Hmm. You know, I'm not so motivated to help you. We'll see. Uh, Sergeant, you look worse for wear. Compared to the captain there, it looks like you've actually seen some action. My lord, Sergeant Molvar. Had a cousin who was Sith. Very powerful. Died young. Wish he was here now. Operation was to move in, secure the area for a supply depot, move troops and equipment deeper into the mines. Casualties, 13. Dead, 12. And I count six broken ribs, one shattered kneecap, and one hut-sized headache. Bring me up to speed. The Republic worms guarding the area were jacked up on some kind of adrenals. They weren't human, they were animals. They shrugged off blaster fire like bug bites, and then tore into my squad. I only survived because a grenade knocked me senseless. My plan was to rush in there, take all the adrenals I could find, and complete the mission. But you might have better success. We need that supply depot. In that case, I'll do what must be done. Sure. Won't do the rest of my squad any good. 
but I'll take a lesson. I'll give you the coordinates to the Republic's adrenal stashes. If they can play that game, so can the Empire. Secure the area for the new supply depot, and make sure Alpha Squad didn't die for nothing. Oh. So Alpha and Bravo Squad have been wiped out. Bravo Squad were the ones escorting the explosives to destroy the Republic walkers. Oh, okay, so... Okay, the adrenal-enhanced troops that we were looking at earlier. That's who he wanted us to deal with. Ah, damn it. Well, that kind of sucks, but it also kind of expected. A lot of the side missions normally, normally correspond with nearby main quests. Okay. For Alpha Squad, I will help that trooper out. Riflemen and sentries. Oh, hello. And a larger security chest. Ah, uh, we might as well see what's in this one. Hmm, credits and some expert expert med packs. Hmm. Fair enough. So we need one more sentry. There he is. survived my uh, force screen. Impressive. Okay, so we'll quickly nip back over to the outpost in the distance there, let him know that his um, squad were avenged, and then we'll head over to the Adrenal Factory. I mean, we could go to Attis Station and look into this euphoric drug, but I don't think it'll ever go into the hands of our troops, unless we take out the captain. Hmm, maybe we should promote the sergeant. He seems um, a bit more level-headed. A bit more patriotic as well. The Republic soldiers that killed your squad are no longer a threat. I've called headquarters for reinforcements. Next squad should be here soon to hold the place. But we couldn't have secured it without you. Can't thank you enough. Payback is satisfying. And onwards we go. The Republic here, making a small che checkpoint. And we can just by bypass it. Nice and easy. I think this might be the... Yeah, this is the entrance we need to go. Is there a bonus outside? Let's find out. You're not dead. where we need to be. Defeat six Selkaf scientists and kill the head of personnel. Okay. And, ooh, we have a bonus to acquire five adrenal samples. Oh no, that's for the, the side mission in Addis Station. That's right. My bad. I 
think there's a similar mission for the Republic and one of the the huts of the three families asks you to acquire some adrenals for his personal um, collection and he offers to reward you. I thought it might be something similar. It is a lower level, but we'll go up here first. Is there... there is another cell cap scientist. And we are level 70. <clears throat> and we can start gathering command points and command ranks, which will get us some rarer equipment. Hmm. While we're here, I'll open up my legacy menu. We might as well. This is expensive. Uh. You know, that's fine. We will spend a bit of money on this. Um, I might not get the final tier. But that's fine. Oh, we need to go downstairs. So, yeah, even though we're not getting normal experience anymore. Increases experience from all activities. We can get command experience boosters. Well, look at our command ranks and such. Once we um, get back to Moff Drayson, I guess. I think the higher your command rank, the better rewards you gain. There's like different tiers. But I haven't really played with command ranks too much to work it all out, so... It's something we can look into together once again. But yeah, we're getting command points for defeating... I think you get command points for, for defeating strong, elite, and champion enemies as well. So it might be still worth our while to complete side and exploration missions, including heroic missions, because we will actually get uh, command points for doing so. Oh, so, there we, so we get command points for just killing normal enemies as well. Huh. Handy. Maybe we wouldn't have if I hadn't have used the, the cumulative bonus from our leg legacy. Yeah, it's not a great deal, but using my legacy here, I've gained, what, an extra 8% command points, which isn't a great deal. But, we can now go back to the Imperial Garrison.
We also have a utility point we can spend in our discipline path tree. Have to have a look at those again. I'm sure we had already semi-chosen what passive bonus we were going to select. Now, did we learn any new skills at level 70? Probably not. You desire more power? Good. Remember, peace is a lie. Let's have a look here. The extended reach for... Oh no, it was this one, wasn't it? Force charge finishes the cooldown of disruption. But when we use Saber Reflect, it generates a high amount of threat. Within 30 meters. That's actually pretty good. We have battle music while we're not actually in battle, but you know. Oh well. I just spoke with Grag. He said you shut down the factories and the fight's under control. Well done. Without Adrenals or their Quesh Venom supply, the Republic is finally vulnerable. We must hit the three families with everything we have. Slay the Hut Slime. Their secrets die with them. The Republic can't process Quesh Venom. And they'll be pushed to the brink of Galactic War. All we must do is kill the leaders of the three families. We've got the Republic on edge. The huts will be well guarded. Indeed. We have an inside contact who should help us level the playing field. Colonel, wake Portho the hut from whatever adrenal addled haze he's drowning in. Remember, Portho, a useless hut is a dead hut. I'd rather not be comatose in the middle of a firefight. We'll take your recommendation under advisement, Portho. Use your adrenals. When you awake, you'll be the only surviving member of the three families. You heard the fool. Either fight through the front or take Portho's adrenals and be smuggled in. Your choice. The hut can keep his concoction. I'd rather fight on my feet. Portho gave us schematics on the palace's security. You'll need these EMP charges to scramble the generators shielding the main door. Excellent. Once you're inside, kill the leaders of the three families, Portho too. Then upload their data on Quesh Venom processing to me. So, yeah. I'm guessing, and I could be wrong here, but I'm guessing that the three families, the only reason they joined the Republic was to get have a chance to get their hands on the stimulants that Quesh can provide. Of course, they are now probably regretting their decision. And one of them, of course, was an inside man. Hot. Whatever. Anyhow, before we break this video... Ah, yes. Oh, so maybe we don't share the map with... Oh, my map is totally bugged. That is not the... Well, that's the adrenal facility. Hmm. Either way. Oh, dear. Either way, yeah. This is the Free Families Palace that we're going to have to assault, which is further up on the main road. But let's have a look at command ranks. How do we gain access to that? It'll be somewhere. Galactic Command, G command Stash. That seems right. So yeah, there are different tiers. And what you can do is you can open these crates at each level. 
and you will gain, I think it's a series, always a series of five rewards. And you can then choose to claim the uh, reward, or you can choose to disintegrate it into more command experience. But these rewards, let's have a look. This unrelenting terror belt has 210 tier. No, no, oh no, it has no armor slots at the moment. It has no item modifications in it at the moment. But you might find that some gear you'll get from these crates will actually have modified gear, which is better than what you're wearing. This really is just adaptive, and you could probably sell it on the Galactic Trade Network. But I don't really want that, so I'll disintegrate that. We don't really need this um, tr true gift. What's it called again? Companion gift. Ah, that's okay, so that's got some armor, which is actually better than what we have. And command tokens, you can trade them in for level 70 gear. So we'll disintegrate them and we'll claim the rest. Oh, that, that was small, but it gave us a lot of experience. What? Item mods are in here. Oh, that's the wrong button. Uh, ooh, that's pretty good, actually. And that's not ideal, but probably better than what we have. So... A lot more mastery. Okay, yeah, we'll take that. Cool. So we can sell that now. So it's, it's one way we're going to be upgrading our, our various gears now. So it was control. Yep, yeah, it was. Okay. Let's see what else we can get. Uh, Underworld Enforcer's Belt. I mean, eh, we'll get rid of that. Another companion gift. And that's really pretty good. Okay, we'll keep that. So we'll claim those, and in our final quay. Ooh, hello, what the hell is that? It's a pet. Hmm. You know, I don't really... Ooh, hello. Is that an earpiece? It is. A really good earpiece as well. Okay. So we'll disintegrate those two. And we'll claim the rest. And I think that might actually get us our next rank as well. Keep those. Oh, bloody hell. We might as well... I might as well share... It's almost like unboxing or what was it loot box uh, like streams we might as well see what we have um that oh that's pretty good we'll claim claim ooh, that doesn't have anything get rid of that what about this hunt blasters rack blaster pistol Ah, uh, do, 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 do. No, we'll get rid of it. Um, claim that. Ah, uh, doesn't it grow? Oh. So. Claim, claim. And the rest we can disintegrate, I think. So 
So we've got to play with those. And once again. So those are... Ah, uh, yeah, I think they're pretty decent. A Revenite Rifle. Ah, uh, no. Oh, bugger. That was a mistake. Yeah. Okay, so... Sturdiness is not really the enhancement I have been using, but I might keep it. Uh, what do these boots look like? They're bound to me now. I might as well. <clears throat> I might as well sell them. And these are. Slightly better, and oh, wrong again. Stirrah. Oh no! Even though they're different colours, this is still the same um, armor rating. But this one, the purple one. If you have the arm, oh no, that's if you're wearing all the Etchok War Leaders gear. If I had all of that gear, it would actually give me bonuses to various skills. Interesting. Okay. But despite these two being different colours, it's only because that's come from. Yeah. Okay. Interesting. And might as well replace these. Okay. And finally, we will have a quick look at currency. We have 90 command tokens. Oh, we have dark side tokens. Oh, yeah. I think you can there is a dark side vendor on the Imperial fleet who can give us some uh, unique equipment. But I'm not sure if you can use the vendor unless the dark side has been victorious. You'll now see the um the dark side al like alignment bar when they will, when the light side or dark side is growing stronger or weaker. That actually has a purpose now. When the dark side is victorious, we have a benefit. We gain more command points while they're victorious. Okay, interesting. So there's a lot of things we can sell. I'm I'm not sure if it's worthwhile keeping this armor set then. I am not likely to wear and probably find the full set of war leader's equipment. But you never know what we'll find in quests, so sure. Do you require medical attention? We need a lot more command experience now. But that'll be the reason why we're continuing to do side missions and exploration missions and such. Because it's still a benefit to us, whereas back in the day, once you hit level 50 or say level 60, there was no reason to really continue grinding and doing all the alternative missions that were available. Apart from your main storyline missions. But, we'll break this video here. And when we come back, we're going to be assaulting the um, the Free Family's Palace. This, of course, has been Anne Wolf playing Star Wars The Old Republic. I hope you've all enjoyed. I say, I may not fully understand the command rank system. It's not something I've really played with, apart from briefly, when some of my characters have hit level 70. 
Like, I think I am. I looked at it briefly with Valeris Rowe, my Jedi Knight as well. But it's something we can experience together as the series goes on. And I probably won't delve too deeply into it, but we'll just have to wait and see. But um, yeah, feel free to comment if you so wish. And I'll see you for more of our time here as a Sith Warrior in the next video. Until then, though, bye-bye now.